What's wrong with you? I told you to get there. That's my dirt. See, y'all didn't hear. She was up here screaming and clucking and laughing and all that craziness. Go somewhere. You too. Good night. Oh, ow, my toes! Biting me and stuff. Hey, you. So, how y'all doing on eggs? I'm pretty good. Alright, I took them. You can go ahead and hop one up and go ahead. You want privacy? Shush. Should I should I go? Thought so. Go meet your friends, they're down there. Puking up grass. Well, I'm out here getting my uh my hoe on. Whatever you want to call this thing. See, I pulled that up. I actually may put that back down. I've cleaned this area up. You know, got the sticks out of there, there, over there. Cats are joining me. They're just hanging out. I don't know if they love me or they're hungry. <laughs> Women, I tell you. But yeah, let, let's keep on documenting this thing and uh, see, see how it goes, you know? Remember this? This was the black crim. At first, it was the uh, cherry, the yellow cherry tomatoes. Then last year, it became the black crim, which we had plenty of. And I'm going to go ahead and get this out the way, too, so we can go ahead and begin. for the container gardening and I'm considering going with this but I'm also looking at this and this
Well, these are doing good. I came on here and checked on them a few days ago and they were really wilty. They didn't look good at all. But I guess sitting out here they have to harden, you know. And these are the yellow cherry tomatoes. That's a pepper. Uh, I believe this is a pepper too. More yellow cherries, yellow cherries. Uh, forgot what tomatoes they are. This is broccoli. I believe it's broccoli. Another tomato. Another tomato. So everything's looking good. Okay, so we're finally getting this grass done. And the saddest thing about it is that's my daughter's tree. Remember that tree? She loves to perch on it. And they're going to cut that down today. We had a terrible storm here uh, a few years ago, and that tree fell. And when she saw that tree, oh my goodness, it became a place for her butt. But that's okay, because I have something better coming for her. I can't wait till she sees it. So hopefully today will be the day that I get out in the garden and I tarp that thing down and really begin my container garden. But she's going to miss that thing, and I'm going to miss her on it. It looked good on her. That's all. Just saying goodbye to the tree. I'm sorry, baby. This is where we sat last spring. Last March. And we had a little makeshift fire pit right there. We sat out here and blew some bubbles and she ran crazy. And we made some hot dogs and hamburgers and things. That's all that's left of it. I guess I can use that for some firewood, right? So let's see how the garden looks. Chopped down my grapes, I just noticed. Now, I didn't tell him not to, but uh, I wish I could. I'll use my little hand mechanism. That. I'll use that to get out here. truck just came. Let's get it done. Ooh, nailed it. All right. I'm a little out of, little out of, little out of breath. I'm setting up some containers. I know it's kind of late, but I had some time to do it. I still got to get that one. But here's what's happening right now. There we go. Now I know you can't tell, but I got those spikes in the ground. Around the spikes I have deer netting. Now, I thought it was a different brand of deer netting, but it's not. I thought it was the thick, rubbery plastic kind, but this is very uh, thin. I have smart cats and wise hens. My only concern is I hope they don't dig up under here because if I plant down some carrots or something and the chickens go digging and scratching, and the cats go crazy and like he's doing right now, pooping and scooping. Then they're going to mess me up, especially something like a carrot bed. But I hope that's not the case. So I'll just invest in some more. All right, here we are. I'm getting the holes down. It's very windy out here. This thing keeps blowing over. So I'm trying to dig a hole where I can get these down in there. Those two by fours. Get them in the holes. Nail them in. Let's see. Come on, let's go outside, boy. Hey. It's 
See, this is why I choose to work early in the morning and leave these girls locked up. Because they're not going to let me finish what I have to do here. Maybe when they realize I don't have any food for them, they'll leave. All right. So I got it down. And I think I did a good job. I think. I put these one by fours in here. I had two by fours, but they seemed a little too thick. So I used the smaller ones. Then I zip tied them up. I told you this year we doing things on the cheap. And I got some cinder blocks in there. I'm getting ready to throw the soil back on top. This is why I don't want them in a the garden. Job well done. Doesn't look bad, do it? I'm not saying it look excellent, but it doesn't look bad. All right. All right, so I'm gonna call it a day. I got some hot pizza in the house, so I'm gonna go make the best of that. And tomorrow, I go get my Fiodora, so she better help me out. But that's what I got done. Looks good so far. And I wanna do something special to that wall. But that's it for now. See you tomorrow. Peace. What's today? The, the 18th? 17th. Saint the Patrick's 17th Day. of March. St. Patrick's Day. We just had a decent breakfast. Or a really good breakfast. It was. We just saw Tomb Raider last night, which is okay. It's a good movie. Uh, Best Tomb Raider ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Best fart sandwich ever. Yeah, right? Well, oh, How do you oh, judge right. it? No, no. No, it was good. It was good. Okay. Right. And uh, it's icing out here. <laughs> it is icing. I'm sitting here trying to fix the fence. It was a bright morning. <laughs> Nice and warm. Now it's icing out. She loves it. <laughs> All right, well, let's get back to work. So you want to do it alone? All right. Trust in you. You said you wanted to do it. And whose fault is that? Responsibility. Chickens don't belong in here! <laughs> oh goodness. He is knocked out.
All right, this is where we at. This is what's going on in the garden of Feodora. We have it tarped down, although I'm gonna go ahead and invest in a one piece tarp. That way I don't have these little splits in there and the grass wanna come up. But other than that, this is the idea. It's not finalized, but if you have vision like I do, then you understand where I'm coming from. And I still gotta do a little more cleanup, but it looks good and I feel good. Hey buddy, tell him peace. You like that? <laughs> it does look nice. Oh, look. Yep. I like the coming on everything. Wow. You like that, huh? So this is what's going on inside the garden of Theodora, right? <laughs> get down, get down from that, get down from that, get down from that, get down from that. These are the lights I put up at the Garden of Feodora. These are some uh, LED lights. They seem to work very well and uh, they will not come on during the day. They are solar powered and my daughter loves them and I think that's all that matters. So if you want something nice for your garden, then definitely pick these up. I have them around the gazebo and I think it's a nice addition to what we're doing out here this season. Right, buddy? Yeah. Wait, look. You see the ones that are unturned off and the ones that are off turned on. I know. Fantastic. It's gorgeous. I love it. I'm gonna see how it looks from a distance. Whoa! Dad. If you come see it from a distance, it looks like it's just flying in the air. You gonna let him out? You don't see her? Eggies. Eggs in there? Yeah, so many eggies. Alright, come on. We come get them. Eggie boo. Today is the 18th of March. We closed it, remember? Remember we locked it? Yeah, but we're out of here. It's off. The gate fell off. Oh, I gotta get up here and do some more work to it. <laughs> That's alright. That, I got a little patience. I got me a drill. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> That's all right. No. So the gate fell off, but that's cool. I mean, I got to put some more nails into it. <laughs> look at the lights. These are the lights my buddy put down. What if we, what if we went back and put, like, boom, boom, boom. So they're all next to each other and we'll be like, we'll be like, this one's right here and right next to each other and they're touching each other. Well, we're going to get more. It'd be like a whole row. I wish I could show off the sky because the stars in the sky right now are bright and beautiful. You can see the constellations. Looks good. Wait, let's see if we can find the Big Dipper real quick. I think I found a little dipper. There's one right there. A dipper? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember which one that is. Oh, I see that. And there's the other right I, over there. I saw that one. Yeah, you can see them. And I think that's a little dipper and that's the Big Dipper. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the big one right there. Yeah. And that's the little one right over there. Wait, let's see if we can make a car tight one. That's right, anyway. Uh, um, careful, buddy. I found the kite. All right. We're getting ready to drive back to Baltimore. But we're just out here saying goodbye to the garden before my little lady goes back to visit her mom. Hey, buddy. You did a good job with these lights. Yeah. Alright, baby, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to get ready to get in the car. Alright. I know. Come on, we 
gotta get in the car, buddy. Oh, she runs away. You see, I got a lot of stuff to do in the garden today. I finally got that big tarp I want to put down. I wanted to mix some dirt. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to. But no, says the elements. Yeah, I won't let you get in the garden today. Cause, cause, cause that you know that's how the elements sound to me. Cause you know, well, whatever. Go on, brave soul. <laughs> Smart cat. What's wrong, yo? Wet? You mad as one of those? <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, wet ladies. Excuse me, excuse me. Try to get over here and uh, get this mat down. We call it for rain tomorrow. My bad, snow tomorrow, rain today. Here's a look at some of the pickings I got uh, last night when I went out. Check it out. See the wind done smashed my gate up. That's okay, I realized I had it on backwards anyway. I gotta put it on the inside. I'll do that in a minute. All right, let's get this. Today is Sunday, March 25th, 2018, and we're in the mixing stage of the garden. It's coming along. We have it tarped down. Uh, the plan is to get some uh, stones, gravel, better yet, to uh, put this down with. But if we don't find any stone, that's fine. So we're continuing to just fill these pots there I have my pots, I have containers I'm going to go through, crates, and I'm going to get some more totes uh, pretty soon, and I plan on getting more buckets as well, but it's coming along alright so far. No complaints here, so, no complaints. And as always, peace in the garden of Theodore. Dirt! Dirt! And what we have here today is a small project. As I told you, we're going to do container gardening this year in season three. I have my heat pen. I'm going to start by using my heat pen to put a hole right here. And I'm just going to keep working it until it gets bigger and bigger. Thank you, baby doll. What I have here is potting mix. Potting mix that I uh, put together myself. Let me tell you what I did. I have lots of old soil laying around from last year. There, and there, and here. And here's what I did. 
I used that old soil and mixed it with good old peat moss. Yes, sir. So I mixed that down with a little cow manure there. And this is what we came up with. Now I have some other amendments, and so let me show you what I did there. Perlite. And then we simply fill the bag. I used this milk crate here to help me hold it open. And then we simply fill the bag, but not all the way. After getting a little base of about two or three inches, I add some garden lime. And then we mix it in. After mixing the lime, we fill up some more. After we fill it some more, we're gonna add some fertilizer. What I have here is simply 546. I think ideal is 555, but we're using this right now. Now I have blood meal. This is my first time using this, so I'm, I'm giving it a shot. A little of this. Mix it down. And then we add the rest of the mix on top of it. When we get to the top, we're gonna top dress. I'll just do this one. We'll have to put a little of this plant food right around the side there. Okay? We kind of bury that in and mix that down. Now here's another little experiment. This bag here actually has cow manure in it, while this one has the exact same mixture, just no manure. And I'm curious to see which one is gonna grow better. I don't know what types of peppers I'm gonna put in these yet, but when I do, you'll be the first to know. Oh, my nails are filthy. Right here, and that's the top right there. Mighty seed box, mighty, mighty seed box. Well, that's it. Plan your work, work your plan. So see you soon. We have lots of great things coming. Fantastic, wonderful, beautiful things. And I do it all for her. And as always, peace. In the Garden of Theodora. And don't forget, please subscribe or just hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.